In this video, I'm going to show you how you can safely and securely store your Binance Smart Chain BNB and BEP20 tokens with Ledger Live. For more information, please check out everbethelps.co.uk. And if you don't already have a Ledger hardware device to store your Binance Smart Chain tokens, then I'll pop a promotional link in the summary below. As of August 2021, you can now securely manage and transact with the Binance BNB token and BEP20 tokens, all directly from within Ledger Live. As you're most probably aware by now, Ledger hardware devices are one of the safest ways to store your crypto, with your private keys always being kept offline within the wallet and away from any potential harm. And the Binance Smart Chain is a blockchain built by Binance, the world's largest crypto exchange, and it supports two native asset types which are BNB, the Binance Smart Chain's native currency, and the BEP20 token, which is similar to Ethereum's ERC20 token, but on the Binance Smart Chain. By integrating the Binance Smart Chain, Ledger users can now safely store their BNB and BEP20 tokens while saving on fees when interacting with their tokens. And to get started, you'll need to install the Binance Smart Chain app on your Ledger hardware device via Ledger Live. First, you'll need to ensure that you're using the latest version of Ledger Live, and you're usually prompted at the top of the screen if you're not running the latest version. So I'm going to go ahead and download the update now, and then install. Now from time to time, I actually have some issues when clicking on the install button, but you can also download the latest version of Ledger Live from their website, and you can then choose your correct operating system, and this will work in the same way as clicking on to install. So now that that install is completed, you can see here from the release notes that Ledger Live now supports BSC, which is the abbreviation for the Binance Smart Chain, and you can now send and receive. So let's continue. Then we're going to head across to the manager from the left hand side of the screen. And you'll need your Ledger hardware device plugged in and unlocked at this point. And you may also be prompted on the device screen to allow manager. Once that's complete, You'll also be prompted if you need to update your firmware on your Ledger device too. However, mine is currently up to date, as you can see. If you head across to the app catalogue, if you're not already there, you can now see the Binance Smart Chain available in the list. Or you can search for it here too. And I'm going to go ahead and install the app now. And I'm currently using a Ledger Nano X at the moment. But if you're using the Ledger Nano S and you don't have enough storage, you may need to uninstall another app to allow for this one. But don't worry as by uninstalling you won't be deleting any of your actual hard earned crypto as it just removes the app from the device. Then once you've installed the app you'll then be prompted to create a Binance Smart Chain account and you'll need to do this so that you can start to receive crypto and start storing it on your ledger. So I'm going to click on to manage my account and you'll then be taken over to the account screen now where we've automatically got Binance Smart Chain selected from the drop down. So let's click on to continue. You're then asked to open the Binance Smart Chain app on your Ledger hardware device. And it will then go ahead and synchronize for you. Once that's successful, I'm going to go ahead and create a new account and then click on to done. And if we just search for the Binance Smart Chain, my new Binance Smart Chain one account has been created and added. So I'll click onto my new account. And as it states here, I currently have no crypto assets here. Therefore, I'll want to receive some. So if I click on to receive now, which I can do for the center of the screen or from the option on the left here, I need to select the Binance Smart Chain account one that I've created from the list. And as it states here, you can only send BNB or BEP20 tokens to a Binance Smart Chain account. And if, for example, you send Bitcoin to this address in error, you do risk losing your funds. And it then shows you my address to send my funds across to. And I can then copy this address by clicking on the button on the right hand side. Or I can click onto the QR code to send my funds across to. Next, I'll just need to confirm and verify that on my hardware device that the shared address here exactly matches the one on my device which I'll need to approve on my device. Then I can choose done. So next, 
Let's take a look at how we can send our BNB tokens or BEP20 tokens across from an exchange over to our ledger live using the address that we've just copied. And I currently have some BNB tokens over on the Binance exchange that I'd like to send across to my ledger. As it's not recommended to keep crypto over on an exchange without access to your private keys as you have less control over your funds. As they say in crypto, not your keys, not your crypto. So let's send across my tokens now by searching for the BNB token within the Binance Exchange Spot Wallet, then choosing to withdraw. In the address field, we'll need to paste in the Binance Smart Chain receive address that we just copied across from Ledger Live. And as you can see, the network has already been detected that this is a Binance Smart Chain address. If this is the first time you're sending tokens to an address, I'd really recommend sending over a test amount first before you send across all your crypto. And with the Binance Smart Chain, the transaction costs are minimal too, so it won't cost you much to do this. I'm going to withdraw my tokens now and confirm that the platform that I'm sending to supports the Binance Smart Chain, which it obviously does now. Now, if you are in the US, I do know that there are some problems when sending from Binance and you'll need to use the Binance Chain Wallet to allow you to convert BNB tokens to the Binance Smart Chain first. But if I head back to Ledger Live, you'll see that my balance is now appearing under my account and my tokens are now securely stored within my Ledger Live. From here, I can then track the price of my token, I can edit the settings or star the account as a favourite. Plus I can also send, so let's take a look at how we do that now. So say for example, you've been storing your tokens on your ledger for a while, but now you want to trade them over on Binance for something else. So we're going to click on to send, where we're then prompted to enter in a recipient address. So over on Binance.com, if I click on to deposit and choose BNB, and it's important here that you select the Binance Smart Chain and not to confuse this with the Binance Chain, which is another chain altogether. Then you can copy the address here or use the QR code. And back over on Ledger Live, we'll paste that into the recipient address. And it's stating here that the auto verification is not available and I need to carefully verify the address. So I'll just double check the address back over on Binance now. Then when I'm happy, I can then continue. It then shows me the maximum spend available, which will take into account any fees that need to be paid for this transaction. And I'm going to send max. And from here, I can then choose whether or not I want the transaction to go through slow, medium or fast. But as you can see, the fees here are minimal at six cents, especially if I compare this to the likes of the Ethereum network. So I'm going to choose continue, where it now shows me a confirmation and I'm going to need to verify and approve the transaction on my ledger device too. So now that transaction's complete, if I view details, it then shows me a summary of my send transaction, and I can view this in the Explorer, where it shows me a confirmation of my transaction and all the details, as well as confirming the exact transaction fee. But that completes how to store, send and receive with Ledger and the Binance Smart Chain. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.